Hello YouTubers, just back here with the uh, low C DBLX I just picked up. Just installing some uh, lights that I had in here previously, uh, or that I owned previously. Um, so I got some pretty cool ones actually that, let me see here. You can't really see them all, but I got like six white ones in the front that not, aren't set up properly yet, um, which are running off of this system here, which I do have plenty more wires to hook up to it, orange and red and this and that, but I just have the whites hooked up for now. And then I have another system back here running um, off of this battery here. And it's, uh, basically gonna be another lead bar back here fixed onto there and then uh, in the back I have a whole bunch of red and whites so I'll be good to go for the uh, night time and I'm just about to install uh, a light bar a lead light strip on each side um, that runs off a 9 volt battery, which so it weighs nothing, which is cool. And uh, doesn't drain any other power or anything. And uh, yeah, I'll have those on there as well, which will light up the bottom. So I'll have the front. Oh, and then I also have, sorry, that light bar that came with it, which is sick. Like, absolutely sick. It's so bright. Can't even see my drivers inside. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? Let's take the first spin. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. <laughs> Anyways, that's where I'm at right now. I still haven't gone out for a run yet. Uh, you guys will be the first to see that. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about taking off the, the fin here and installing uh, one of my big rock tires uh, actually not big rock, it's, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, whatever X, Proline, Trencher, Trencher X, and put one of those right back on here on the mount. That would look pretty badass. And, uh, you know, it'd balance it out still the same. I'm not too worried about that because I don't plan on jumping it like crazy or anything. I just little tiny jumps, if anything. But okay, that's it for now. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted after I, I'm going to glue in some of the lights, hot glue in some of the lights and some of the wires down and put the receiver box back together. Best receiver box I've ever seen. It's held on by a clip. Awesome. Takes off. Take it off in two seconds, just plug in what you need, screw it, plug it back in, that's it, done deal. And, uh, yeah, everything else is pretty, it's, I, I can't complain, man. Like, look at the size of these shocks compared to my finger. That's just insane, man. Insane. So, yeah, once I get all the lights installed and everything, I'll show you guys an update. All right, talk to you soon. Peace.